Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to add a cover page to your document. I'll show you how to include a built-in cover page, but also how to create a custom cover page and save that custom cover page for future documents. Okay, so let's look at how to include a built-in cover page. So I've already opened my document. Go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and there's the Cover Page button. Click on it. These are the built-in cover pages. If none of these are suitable, you can go down to here, more cover pages on office.com. And what I'm gonna do is select this cover page here, Insight 2. So now all we need to do is put these headings in these placeholder elements within the cover page. So what I'm gonna do is select the main heading, cut it, Control X, click into the document title element, Control V to paste, now you can see I've lost the formatting that was on the cover page, but if I go to this button, paste options and select keep text only, it maintains that formatting for me. I'm going to do the same for the document subtitle, cut it, click into this element, control V, keep text only. Now down here, I just need to change the author name into today's date. This element here I don't need, so I'm gonna right click on it and remove content control. Now this image is not suitable for the document, so I'm gonna make sure it's selected. Then I'm gonna to go to the insert tab on the ribbon, pictures, stock images. I'm gonna search for broccoli. Select an image, click on insert, and it will replace that image for me. I can resize it if I need to. Okay, so that's how to include a built-in cover page in Microsoft Word. How do we create custom cover pages? Okay, so this is my mock-up of a cover page. I've just included some graphics, some text, and an image. Now, what I need to do is select everything I want to include in the cover page. So I'll just do Control-A on my keyboard to select it all. And then I'm gonna to go to Insert, cover page and right at the bottom here you'll see an option save selection to cover page gallery now i need to give the cover page a name and then very simply i just need to click on ok then i can just close down this document i don't need to save it but when you close down word itself it is going to ask you whether you want to save the changes you have made to building blocks and at this point you need to click on save. Now I'm back in Word and I've created a blank document. How am I going to insert the custom cover page that I have just created? Well, all I do is I go to insert, cover page, and I need to scroll right down to the bottom and you'll see that Word has created a section called general and there is my cover page. So if I click on it, it inserts it into my document. Now, if you ever need to delete the custom cover page that you've included in this menu, what you do is you stay on the insert tab on your ribbon and you go over to this quick parts menu and then you go to building blocks organizer. Now this is a list of all the building blocks in Word, not just cover pages. And what I find useful is just to sort the building blocks alphabetically by name and then I can search for the particular cover page that I want to delete. So I can see it there. And then all I need to do is click on delete there and then click on yes to confirm and then close. So if I now go to cover page and scroll down, you can see that I no longer have that general section with this cover page that I've created. Now you may have problems with page numbering when you're using cover pages. For example, here you can see that the cover page is numbered as page zero. Now, all I need to do is double click up in the header, or if the numbering is in the footer, double click down in the footer. And you then want to select this option, different first page, and that's on the header and footer tab. What you can then do is just delete the number that appears in the cover page and that will not affect the numbering on the other pages. 
that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.